Hey there, Richard Matthew here. So you want to recruit existing network marketers into your network marketing team. Now there's a way that you can do that that is ethical, it serves that prospect the best, and also it doesn't damage your reputation, which you want to avoid at all costs. There's three or four ways that you can do this. I'll share them with you in a second. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So I've sponsored over 700 people now as a network marketer and a large portion of those people were existing network marketers. Now, I have a great reputation in the industry and I always do what's best and ethical for my for my prospect and you wanna do the same, so let me teach you this approach. So the first thing that you need to do to be able to position yourself in an ethical standpoint and do what's best for your prospect is have an either or scenario of three kind of pronged attack in your business. See, if you're just pushing, hey, come join my network marketing team and build a team with me, that, that's not gonna serve you very well. You're gonna get a lot of resistance to that. A lot of people are gonna be like, stay away, stay away, right? Um, and it's just not gonna feel nice trying to push people into this, right? So with three prongs, you wanna have your network marketing team because some people may wanna join another team. You wanna have a product that can serve their kind of like their wider life outside of their business. And then you want to have a product that can serve them and help them in their business. Let me give you a worked example of this, what I did uh, six or seven years ago now that kind of helped me. So I knew I wanted existing network marketers in my team. Like it removes so many objections they have. You know, I just wanted to have those people in my team. So what I did was I joined an affiliate company that paid me a commission every time I referred a network marketer to them. And this was an affiliate company that provided education to network marketers, kind of online digital marketing that most companies aren't teaching their reps. So this could help them do better in the company that they're in. I also had my network marketing team. If they were actively looking to leave the company, I had that option for them. And then I joined a network marketing company that had a product that I knew could serve them in their wider life, which was travel. So I, I knew that everybody wants to, pretty much everybody wants to travel, right? Take a vacation. So I knew that I could help them outside of their business with that product. I was going to get paid for any one of those options that they took. But here's the best part. They're going to want one of them. They either want to do better in the business that they're in. They want a new business or they want to be able to have a product that serves their personal life, increases their personal life and their memories, right? So I knew that they were going to say yes to me in one of those avenues. It wasn't just linear, join my team or go away. It was, hey, what, what can serve you best? And they would let me know. And then I could like in a pack of cards, I could take the right card, give them the right option, right? We could explore that together. So have you got that scenario in your business right now? Have you got it set up where you can offer these three different avenues, get paid for each one so that you can feel a lot better about prospecting, right? You know that, hey, I got, I got no ul ulterior motive here. I just want to see what, what I can help you with. And people will feel that you'll become much better at prospecting. You'll probably do better numbers because you don't feel so kind of like pressury. Um, and it just works. Having that scenario works. Second thing you want to do is with your network marketing team, you want to give other network marketers a reason for joining you and your team. Like why you and why your team? So this is for the option for the people that say, well, yeah, I am kind of fed up with my team. I do want to join a new one. Well, why should they come to you? See, if you're a beginner and you lack experience and you haven't got results that you can kind of plug them into and show them, my advice would be to get with someone who is more successful than you and kind of wheel them out in the prospecting process. This could be your upline, this could be a sideline, this could be anybody within your company who is willing to kind of jump on the phone for two seconds or willing to even just, just kind of be copied into a, a Facebook message just to show that there's that kind of that big player is there if they want them. Sometimes people's egos get in the way. It shouldn't, but, but it does. And they're like, do I really want to join you? I mean, like I'm a seven figure earner or a six figure earner and you're just starting. Like, do I really want to do that? I had that a lot when I first started. People are like, well, what can you do for me? Well, I'm a good guy. <laughs> I'm ethical. They were like, it's good, but I want something I can plug my team into. I got big numbers. Like, what can you do? So I started to learn a few kind of tricks of the trade that I'll give you right now. Number one is a bonus. I created a bonus package, which I still use to this day. So for any network marketers coming into my team, I had this bonus trainage package that would allow them to kind of educate themselves on what I were doing. But also it was something they could plug their team into very quickly just by sending them a link. 
So it removed the need for them to do training and webinars and all the kind of boring stuff that they may not like. It removed their need to do that and actually increased the results of their team. So if they had a big team that they were looking to move, they could say, man, I can plug them right into Richard's bonus package. This is great. So I had these systems, these marketing systems in place, things like funnels, things like training packages. I had those pre-built, ready for them to plug into. Also, you, you want to brand yourself. Start to put a few videos out there. Start to put a, like, become a, as known as you can on social media and places like that. Like, someone's going to become aware of you and join you if they like you and they're familiar and they trust you, right? So the first time that I signed someone up who was an experienced network marketer with more success than I had, he'd found me on a YouTube video. He's like, I've been watching your YouTube. I'm like, I didn't even know you subscribed. I've been watching your YouTube channel. I think you could offer something to my audience. How about I join your team and then we promote to my audience together? Like, cool, that sounds good to me. It was a great deal all around. And if I hadn't have built my own brand outside of my network marketing company, I know for sure I wouldn't have raised, piqued his interest. I wouldn't have showcased that I had some other skills outside of just network marketing. Um, and I wouldn't have attracted that person. I've attracted a whole lot more that way as well. The final thing that I would say, which is probably the most important, is consistency. There's a lot of people watching you right now and you don't even know it experienced network marketers, potential network marketers, anybody, but definitely network marketers because we are actively engaging on social media, right? If someone's a network marketer, they're probably hanging out more on social media than the average person. So they're going to notice if you are or are not on social media. They're going to notice if you are or are not making videos, content, doing these kind of things, right? So you need to showcase that side of your personality and become someone that they want to join. Not just in terms of what I just spoke about, about having a bonus package and infrastructure, these kind of things. You need to have them see you consistently and feel like, hey, this, someone, this is someone who's working hard. This is someone who is above board, ethical. Consistency really does breed that trust with you. So when you're out there day in, day out, week in, week out, wherever they look, they can find you. Then you may not see that as a direct, like, quick win. But it starts to build a pipeline of eyes that are on you. And these people start to fall through your pipeline, your marketing funnel, and into your team. They start to do that. I get loads of people nowadays that are like, I saw a YouTube video of yours and I want to buy this from you. Or I saw a I had listened to a podcast of yours. And and you know, I feel like you could help me with this area of my business. I get emails every day, messages every day, people just buying stuff from me every day. And it's because of this massive amount of branding and and social and everything else that I've done consistently. It didn't feel like it was going to work at the time, but I stuck at it. I kept at it. I stayed consistent. I didn't chop and change my message. I didn't chop and change what I was working in. Um, and people saw that. They still see that and they get confidence in it. So how consistent to you, if I was following you on social media or on any of the platforms, would I be able to get a clear understanding of who you are as a person? Are you going to company events and showing showcases and that on your social channels? Uh, are you providing value to other people without wanting them just to join your team just because you can? Are you showing them that certain strengths that you've got in your personality? Are you showcasing that? Are you sharing a little bit of your family time with them or your your individual personality? Let them see those sides of your of your of you as a person. Showcase your skills so that they can say, you know what? Maybe they don't have the results, but they seem like a cool person. They seem like it'd be fun to hang around. I think I want to join that person. Give yourself, position yourself in that position. Position yourself in that position. Put yourself in that position so people can see that from you. Reach out to you because they feel comfortable you're a human being. And again, that's going to help you recruit more network marketers. So quick summary. You want to be able to have this three-pronged approach so you can serve that person best. You want to make sure that you have a team that they want to join by having infrastructure, systems, tools, things they can plug themselves and their other people into. And then you as an individual, what are you doing to showcase your personality, your different elements that are attractive to other people on social media consistently so that they can get to know you and reach out and want to join you. You do those three things, it's going to go a long way to helping you recruit a heck of a lot more network marketers. Um, I've recruited hundreds these things definitely work. Uh, if you want to know a little bit, can I take it a little bit further? If you are a network marketer and you want to grow your business, if you want to see how I recruited all 700 of those people predictably using the internet, most of them I never even had to speak to. Um, I created a webinar on there that you can take a look at for free. Go to richardmatheru.com forward slash webinar uh, and you'll be able to register. Take a pick a time. Um, there'll be a few different showings perhaps. You'll be able to pick a time, watch it, learn it, take notes 
put it straight into your business and follow what I've done as a game plan. As always, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. And I'll catch up with you soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.